Hello and welcome to Current Computing. In this video, we'll be looking at some of the games available on Linux. Linux is still in beta mode on the Chromebook, but even though it's in beta mode, it's still very stable now. And it is actually coming out of beta mode this year, which is really good to hear. So I thought I'd have a look at some of the games. Now there's absolutely loads, which I will show you, but I'll only show you a couple of actually how they work, two games. But it's good to see that there are some games you can get on Linux. Now, the Rip basic that's not a bad thing i quite like retro style games um, so we'll have a quick look to see how you do it first of all what i would suggest is to have a linux app store so that would be very similar to this what you get on the play store very similar sort of thing now to do a linux app store um, I'll, i've done a video for it so if you haven't got the linux app store and you want to do that then I will put a link in the video below to show you how to set up the Linux App Store. It's actually quite easy and the video is very straightforward, so that will help. Once you've got the Linux App Store set up, you will then see here that you'll have this Discover here, and that's the App Store, basically. So click on there. Just wait that. I have got two displays, so sometimes they go from one to the other. No, it's just loading up. That's fine. Okay, so here we go. Um, and here you will see these are featured, but if you click on, this is the app store once you've installed it, like I said, if you haven't used the link below to find out how to install it. And then if you click on applications, the reason why I like this app store, there are other app stores, it, it narrows down what the applications are in relation to. So as you can see here, there's games. So on here, I've never played any of these games before, but I thought I'd give them a quick go. I installed Super Tux Cart, which I'll show you in a second. And it's simply just done by clicking the install button. Obviously, there's a remove button now because I've installed it. Once you've installed it on here, you then, this is just the app store, you then go down here to find the app, which we'll do in a second. So that's one I downloaded. And then I thought I'd just do a simple card game. So I downloaded Solitaire as well. So I'll quickly show you Solitaire first, because everybody knows what Solitaire is. Um, and then we'll have a look at the card game. So they're both installed. And they're free, obviously, which is great. Linux games on the on these are all free to download. So open up the launcher, go to here, and then from here, what you will see is you've got Linux apps here. Now, when you download a game, like you can see, there's the solitaire and there's that. They stick here. And I was thinking, well, what would happen if you had lots of apps? It would take up a lot of room. How about you can move them out and just put them there like that. So that's not a problem at all. But I will put that back in there for now. So let's have a very quick look at Solitaire first. So here's Solitaire, obviously very basic. Uh, but the good thing is there's no, although you get these games on Android, there's no adverts, which is a really nice thing to see because the adverts can be frustrating. There's no sign-ups. It is just a game that you download locally onto your Chromebook or Chromebook. So it's really good for that. So that, that's Solitaire. I think we all know how it works. But yeah, just a very simple looking game. No annoying adverts in the back, so it's good to see. And there's lots of other games as well. And now let's have a look at the other game. Now, I will try and find different games and do videos on them. But it's very difficult to know what people want, whether people do want more game, videos about games or videos about other apps. It's, it's very difficult to know what people prefer to see. Okay, so Super Touch Car. I quite like this. This is a bit like Mario. As you can see here, we're going to single player mode. And then you can choose your player down here, and that changes the car. So I'm going to choose that monkey there. I will choose novice. And there's lots of different things here you can choose. So I can push the ball into the opposite case, score goals. If I won't do that, I'll just go with this one here. And it's very simple to, um, and then there's tracks here, then lock as you go. First one isn't that great, if I'm being honest with you, but I think you do have to do that first. This one's good though, second one. Number of laps, put that down to three. AI cards, three. I slowed that. As you can see, it's basic, the graphics, but it's pretty good to use it. You just use arrow keys, forward to go forward, left, right to go left, right, and back to break. 
But as you can see, it's a bit like Mario, and it's it's great fun. Oh, if you can play it, that is. I wanted to go up at this little ramp. Oh, didn't do very well. I'll try it on the next lap. But as you can see, for free, it's a really good game. Feels a lot more stable than some of the Android games, and like I says, no annoying interruptions, which is really good to see. I'm going to do this ramp this time. Yes, there we go. See, so this is a great game, even for adult kids. Really good game to spend on if you've got some time. So it's really good to see that there's like you can get these games on Linux. And as I says, it does feel pretty stable. I'm quite impressed with it. I could play this for a while if I had time to use up. See, and it's, it is very retro, depending on how old you are, but if, if you like, for me, for example, <laughs> I, I remember the days back in the 90s before we even had Microsoft computers, and it was the Atari ST or the Amiga people had. I had the Atari, and my brother went for the Amiga. It's very much games like that, or all console-style games, but as you can see, it's good fun. So let's close that for now, and what I want to do is I just want to show you some of the other games which I've not used yet but I will be looking into them so go to discover one thing I got really excited about was when you go to games see it, it then puts it into other sections as well that's not what I got excited about but I got excited about emulators now if you've never used an emulator what an emulator is it allows you to play games from old consoles or computers that you used to play uh, so even if you even if you're younger, people still like the retro style games. But for example, I was I like I said I, I was all about Atari when I was a kid. So I had a look and look, yeah, you've got well there's the Atari 2600, which is a console. Although I used it at a friend's house, I never owned one myself. I had the Atari ST, which was a computer, or the TT and the Atari Falcon, which is their last Atari computer, unfortunately, before Microsoft started to become more popular with um, PCs. Um, so yeah, it's really good that there's an emulator and what that would do, I've not tried it, I will have to try it on a different video. Once when you install the emulator, you can then play games. Whether you've got to go and look for files, I've not checked that on this yet. I know you would have to do that on a Windows PC, but there may be some installed as standard I have to check. But it simply means I could go and find files if I have to do it that way for certain games that I used to live on my Atari and play it through this emulator. So it's really good, and there's an emulator here for the ZX Spectrum. Quite a lot of different emulators, which are really good. A Wine, um, my understanding of Wine, I don't use Apple, but my understanding is Wine allows you to use, I'm not 100%, it, it, it's definitely for the Apple Mac, and I think it allows you to use Microsoft apps, I think, but I, I'm not 100% certain. Right, so, yeah, so that's really good. And as you can see, there's loads of, there's action, arcade, games, card games, all seem like they're free to use. Um, and if it's not for games, then you've got all the other apps. One thing you do need to bear in mind, there's absolutely thousands of apps. If you just click on applications and scroll, I can get to the end. Doesn't mean that all these apps will work on your Chromebook or Chromebook, so it is trial and error. But I'm sure most of the games would work. So I hope that video has helped. It's just to let you know that if you haven't started using Linux yet on your Chromebook or Chromebox, maybe it's time to do so. Even though it's in beta mode, it's really stable enough now to use. Because if you even if it is in beta mode, you can use it from stable mode on your Chrome OS. You haven't got to go into any developer mode anymore. So it's it's a really good time to start having a look at what Linux offers because it's definitely a good thing to have. Well, it's an excellent thing to have. Linux um, on the Chromebook. So I'm going to try to be doing a lot more videos around Linux as well um, to see what there's other programs and apps that are available. So if you like the video, please like below and subscribe to the channel for future videos. And thanks for watching.